coming up on the 150th anniversary of President Lincoln's assassination. And the involvement of one of the county's most significant historic places will be very much front and center. The Surratt House Museum in Clinton, always a fascinating place to visit and tour, has just opened a new exhibit, The Full Story, Maryland, the Surratts, and the Crime of the Century. The museum's Lindsay Horn explains. The current exhibit that we have at the house um, is marking the 150th anniversary of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. As a result, we decided to hit on the topics that most people don't know about, namely what happened after the assassination itself. Most people know that Lincoln was shot at Ford's Theater in D.C., but there's a whole other story after that. Um, so what we've highlighted um, is the assassination itself, um, John Wilkes Booth's escape afterwards, his trek throughout southern Maryland into Virginia before he's finally cornered and killed, and then what happened to the rest of the conspirators, most namely Mary Surratt, um, her very atypical trial by a military commission, her subsequent execution, and what happened to her family afterwards. Probably most notably her infamous younger son, John Jr., um, whose role is almost debated as much as her role might have been in the assassination. This is the third, um, kind of the final, more permanent exhibit that we've had going. Um, in years previous to this, in celebrating the sesquicentennial, we've touched on Maryland's very unique role in the Civil War, how it came to be in such a unique position socioeconomically, geographically, most notably. Um, last year, we were highlighting southern Maryland in the Civil War, so southern Prince George's County, Charles County, St. Mary's, um, because as we've all been here in the past couple of years, Maryland's a very divided state. We are in what I like to call the unofficial confederacy of the state. Um, so they, these counties had a more unique role in the war than most people realize. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to highlight that also what was going on at home in these counties as well. That tends to get overshadowed when you're dealing with battles and generals and soldiers. The statue cutout in the corner. Yes, oh, our cardboard cutout of John Wilkes Booth. Um, He's on loan to us uh, from a good friend of mine. We thought he might punch up the exhibit a little bit. Um, it's always good to have a visual to go along with these characters. You hear about them, but sometimes it's hard to picture them as real people. I think it just lends itself into making the story a little more real for people. Um, and he's a pretty good looking guy. That's what he was known for back then. So he just adds a little bit of character to the exhibit. So much to see and learn. The Surratt House Museum is open for tours Wednesday through Friday from 11 to 3 and Saturdays and Sundays 12 to 4 and is on Brandywine Road in Clinton. Plus they have a wonderful Civil War uh, library and um, another couple of other uh, great facilities right there. Lots of the wonderful things go on. All All right. A lot of history there. All right, thanks, Galen. You're welcome.